Okay, welcome guys to my RuneScape Fire Making Guide by me, JC Muzzle. In this guide I'll be covering locations, methods and prices, tips and tricks, and the way in which I got my 99 fire making and my lovely orange skill cape. So first, we are going to start with locations. Okay, so I'll begin by showing the locations. we got Varrock, Falador, Draenor, Yano, uh, and Sears Village, also known as Camelot. Uh, these, in my opinion, are the best places to fire make uh, uh, with banks. Uh, we'll be going into chopping and fire making locations in a minute. Uh, there's, I'm sure there's other locations that you could visit, but this is a good selection uh, for if you want to choose. And I'll be going for f going through each of the um, locations in detail. Okay, so for Varrock, we have uh, the areas here where we got a line here here and I believe here but at the moment there's a cannon here but usually you'd have I think two or three lines on this area this is a common place to fire make this is uh, here on the minimap and then, uh, in more to the east side of Varrock we've got two lines here and here by the Varrock small bank where you can fire make that's another place in Varrock Okay, so we got the Grand Exchange in Varrock, of course. This has these places. Oh no, this is the wrong side. These places on the this side of the Grand Exchange, where you would start from down here near the Rune Crafting place. Oh, there's no point in me showing them there. There's like six lines all together, I think. Well, you can work that out for yourself. And by this little all place, you got another few lines to add on. And yeah, this place is usually the most populated for fire making, but still good with a close bank and lots of bankers. So yeah. Okay guys, so one location I forgot to mention was Edgeville. And this is a fairly good spot. I think it's got uh, three, two or three uh, lines in which you can fire make. I'll go on to show you them now. we got one starting from here or here. Depends how far I'd start it from here. There's a line starting from here line starting from here and I think might just be able to go from here as well yep so I think we've got one two yeah oh yeah it's about four lines alrighty in Falador we have uh, more lines here is our first one uh, in Falador it's kind of uh, interesting because you can start from all the way back there and you'll end up somewhere like near to the bank around with that where he is or you can start here and end up further down it's just it's just really your your preferred choice because it's always going to be the same distance you have to run but yeah you can try this line this lane here where he is and even this lane down here And okay so another great place to fire make is Draenor if for some reason you don't know how to get there you can run up from Lumbridge or you can use the cabbage teleport that teleports you here and run down this place has, I think, three lines where you can fire make. One here, on the left side of this tree. One here, starting from here or down there. And, of course, on the other side of the road. And the one thing uh, about this spot is you can actually make a bit of, um, I'll not make money, you can gain a you won't. You you can pick these red berries, and these will actually sell for 192 GP, which is uh, quite a bit. That's like a lot more than willow logs. So that will like pay the price. This one red berry could pay the price for I don't know five, six willow logs, depending on how much they cost at the time. There's two on each bush, and they'll respawn about every four to five times you do a fire making line you can get these red berries and they'll just save you a small bit of money in the long term so it's worth getting and only takes two extra clips okay in Sierra's village uh, also known as Camelot we have two lines one here and where this lovely chap is fire making here as well and yep those are the two spots for Sears Village uh, because this is a more unusual place I'll just click the world map and show you where this is no need to do that for Edgeville or Varrock I hope 
as you can see it is here this is a members only place of course and you can use a teleport tab or the runes to get here and the final place I'm gonna show you in this video uh, is Yano where we have two uh, lines here one here and one here all going down here I think you can find me there and that is all the locations I'm going to show you, but there are others on the map, obviously. And the world of RuneScape, but these are probably the best. And um, there it is on the map, so yeah. Okay, this is going to be the second part of the locations. going to show you locations where you chop a tree, and then burn the logs in which you have in your inventory that you've gotten from that tree. Um, I'm not actually going to film or show you any of these locations because I don't really want to go into too much detail. Uh, obviously these get you wood cutting experience as well so they're pretty good but uh, they will halve your average uh, fire making experience. Okay so this is a basic outline of the levels. Level 1 logs, level 15 oak logs, level 30 willow logs, level 45 maple logs, level 60 u logs and level 75 magic logs. That's just a quick run through but that's not the actual method on how you'll get 99. Uh, I'll explain that later but just for reference that is the levels in which you can fire make each log. Okay, for the experience weights per hour, you're going to be looking at 40 to 50k for logs, 70 to 75k for oaks, 100 to 110 for willows, 150 to 160 for maples, and 300 to 400k experience per hour for magic logs. That is just the basic outline of the experience per hour. I will now go on to show you the method. Alright, so my recommended method for fire making is here. Uh, 1 to 15 logs, 15 to 30 oak logs, that's pretty self explanatory. And then I do willow logs up until about um, 60 or 70 because they start getting pretty slow around 70 or 60. You can go f you can go for them for 99 and that'll be like cheap, really cheap, but um, it'll take a lot longer. So I either recommend 60 to 99 on maples or 70 to 99 on maples just depends how much cash you are willing to spend or how much time you want to put into the skill obviously if you've got bills you could do magic logs from 75 to 99 but that's gonna cost you a whole little shit load of money so yeah okay if you were to do uh, maple logs then then go with the method from doing it from 60 to 99 on maples you would need 94,524 maple logs costing 5.1 mil or 5.2 mil well depends how much they are at the time I guess could even go to 4.7 mil that is from 60 to 99 on maples okay if you go if you're gonna go to 70 to 99 on maples that'll cost a few hundred K less 4.9 mil could even reach 5 mil or down to 4.5 mil. 91,088 is the amount of maple logs you will need from 70 to 99. Okay, I thought I'd just add this in for the sake of it. If you were going to go for 30 to 99 solely on willows, it would only cost 2.5 mil at this current price. And yeah, that would be a very cheap method and you'd gain you know 100k experience per hour so quite a bit slower than maples but it would only cost two mil so that's another alternative method if you don't have much money to spend but are willing to spend a lot of time for the lovely orange cape two beneficial items that can help you with fire making are the ring of fire and the flame gloves both from the all fired up quest and doing the all fired up mini game which involves lighting beacons around the world map I won't go too much into that because I haven't actually done it myself but you have to keep six fires alight for the ring of fire and ten fire, ten beacons alight for the flame gloves after doing the all fired up quest and you also need 79 fire making uh, for the um, flame gloves and there is a fire making requirement for the ring of fire as well because of the quest. Okay, and both of these add 2% uh, percent more experience to each log while fire making, which obviously will reduce the amount of logs you'll need to get 99 fire making. Also, wearing both of these items gives you a 5, yes, 5% uh, 
bonus experience put together. Okay, so when you've got 99 fire making, you can come um, to the lovely fire making guy and get your fire making skill cape. I'll just show you where that is in the map. Loading, loading. I hate how long it takes out to load. <sighs> Yeah, you can get it from here, up near Sears Village, just teleport to here, run there, go down there, or there, run there, either way you like to do it, and he's smack bang in the middle of nowhere, really. Uh, talk to him, where he's decided to piss off, and get 99, get a fire making cape for 99k. Yay, 99k, or, wow, we've got some other stuff in here as well. And when you've got the cape, you can do the lovely ammo that looks a lot better in high detail uh, with high particle density. Remember, if you want it to actually look cool with all the smoke on it, you've got to put your particle density up. And good luck on 99 for making, and goodbye.